bado tuangazie uh, jinsi gani maoni yalivyotolewa na baadhi ya viongozi kutoka milengo yote ya kisiasa ambao sasa wameelezea kuridhishwa kwao na juhudi zilizowekwa na serikali za kukabiliana na janga la ugonjwa wa COVID-19 huku wakisisitiza haja ya wadau wote kushirikiana katika utekelezaji wa mipango ya kufufua uchumi kufuatia janga hilo Haya yanajiri huku baadhi yao wakikariri wito wa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta wa umoja na uiano wa kitaifa huku taifa hili likitafuta mazingira thabiti zaidi ya kisiasa. In the overall the president has talked about very many issues but I would say that he has very eloquently stated where the problem is. As Kenyans we know what maladies are ailing us. The question now coming out of this speech is whether we are offering the right medicine for the maladies that have been diagnosed because he has talked about all the maladies that Kenya is suffering from up to and including the new malady of um, of uh, covid that has hit us the question is are we applying the right sebum the right medicine the right panacea for these maladies for us to be a stable economy then we need to be more producers than consumers i think that is a powerful message that i would like to reecho to all kenyans that it is high time we stopped thinking that we are developing or we are economically stable by importing things from elsewhere to consume it is better we produce however crooked our production system is we would rather produce number two in the terms of job creation he is calling upon all the youth with talents and skills and whatever they can employ to start small and micro enterprises which the government will be willing to support today there are 70% of our citizens are youth youthful and is a clear attempt during the four uh, point agenda of the president to ensure that the youth now become employers not just employees or people who live from hand to mouth they will have funds uh, through government intervention to enable them now to be able to grow and run their own business and manufacture uh, businesses and uh, with the support of the government one of the key things that uh, i as a representative of the people from lamu uh, county is that uh, the president has have noted and have uh, told uh, the whole nation that uh, lamu port is progressing very well the first bath is done and the second two baths are almost complete and for us lamu people and the coastal people this is one of the greatest milestone achievement that uh, we will remain to to, to remember president ametu ame, ametushawishi ama ametu ametuomba tafadhali kama inawezekana tutumie uh, pesa za CDF kuhakikisha kwamba tujenga mashule na tuhakikisha kwamba tumenunua desk ndipo watoto wanaporudi shule Januari uh, wako na mahali pa kwenda kusoma uh, kwa kosisi yangu hasa mimi ambaye na niko na shida ya mashule na na desk uh, mimi nahakikisha kwamba nitajenga niko shule nitajenga shule zingine tatu kwa vile kwa sasa na shule moja tu ya secondary we know our kids have lost one year uh, what, what, what is it that the president is going to do to ensure those traumatized children out there who have been at home for one year are going to recover their one year what what strategies because if you don't then recover one year it means uh, generations to come will be behind send you um, uh, for one year by one year yeah so we we president must come out with the strategies or now uh, we are going to recover like during the moyes era you remember there was a double intake uh, when uh, university students uh, backlog came because of uh, it took up 